I've described exclusive contract relationships between hospital-based groups and facilities as being relationship contracts, not transactional contracts. To recap what I mean by those terms, transactional contracts are ones in which the parties negotiate for a deal which essentially terminates as of the closing. For example, think about the purchase of a car or the purchase of a home. The parties trade consideration and then they part ways, the deal is done. Conversely, in a relationship contract situation, the closing of the deal is the start, not the end of the relationship between the parties. And that's certainly the key element of an exclusive contract. When the contract is, is signed, the, the parties begin a continuing contractual relationship. I've come to think that there's an additional factor that all hospital-based medical groups and as time proceeds, it looks as if more and more of what have traditionally been office-based practices will indeed themselves be hospital-based, what they all must take into account. That's the fact that in order to maintain a relationship contract, top-level competitors cannot merely be concerned about maintaining a relationship, they must be concerned about delivering a transformational experience to their relationship partner. I call these transformational contracts. In other words, I'm talking about creating the impact of a multiplier. Doing business with your group has to deliver more to the hospital than simply a combination of one plus one. It has to be a situation in which you are delivering one plus one equals four, five, six, or even 10 to the hospital. And I don't mean that what you're doing is suffering a deficit in order to fund an accrual of benefits to the hospital. What I mean is that the transformational relationship you create multiplies the impact, the value for each of you. Sure, I know that energy can't be created, but we're not talking about energy here. We're talking about your future. For complimentary resources, including articles and our monthly newsletter, The Advisory E-Alert, visit advisorylawgroup.com.